If you want to be the best in professional football, you're going to have to need the best players, the best training and the best strategy. And now to stay at the top of the game, it's becoming increasingly important to also have the best AI. So how is artificial intelligence changing football? Could you imagine supporting a football team made up of robots? These robots are already able to play against each other on the football field. The goal of the RoboCup organisers is that by 2050, their robots will be able to defeat football's world champions. To be honest though, it's hard to imagine traditional football fans being that excited about a robot football team. But technology is becoming more and more important in sport, whether fans like it or not. A digital clock for documenting yellow and red cards. Lions people keep the ref in the loop via radio, and with the help of Video Assistant Referees, or VAR, the game is assessed from all angles. Pitchside monitors provide video evidence. It's undeniable. Professional football is more technical than ever. Jochen Dres is responsible for referee innovation at the German Football Association, known as the DFB. The use of technology makes soccer fairer. It makes decisions verifiable, more transparent. Decisions can be assessed as right or wrong. The vast majority of decisions can be categorized in this way. But fans aren't always as enthusiastic. It can take a long time for data to be evaluated. You have to be careful that the technology doesn't take over. You have to differentiate between times when using it makes sense and when it might endanger the nature of the game. At the end of the day, it's still the referee who must decide whether the outputs provided match their perception on the pitch. And that's where AI applications come in. The World Football Association FIFA has already gradually used a new semi-automatic offside detector in tournaments. Cameras mounted under the stadium roof and sensors in the ball send data to an AI system. This then calculates the relative position of players and the ball 500 times a second. It then generates 3D models and notifies the referee when a player is offside. Someone uh, calls it uh, robot offside, it's not. Uh, still the referees are the assistant referees, still responsible for the decision on the field of play. VAR is a controversial topic in football, but it's not going anywhere, so football fans might as well embrace it. And that's where artificial intelligence can actually help. As the tech gets better, referees will be able to make better decisions. Of course, that means training the systems properly, and football authorities do need to ensure it's safeguarded against manipulation by humans. There have been referees who have deliberately manipulated matches, so of course when introducing technologies, we must ensure that they run as securely as possible. For example, that they cannot be hacked or manipulated from the outside. In order for AI models to work, they need a lot of data. Luckily, football already has bucket loads. In modern game analysis, there are two data types. There's event data, like who passes how often, and then there's positional data. Professor Mehmet from the German Sport University Cologne explains. Here we see positional data in both football and handball, the video and the corresponding visualized position data. Individual players' behavior can be extrapolated from positional data. Tactical structures of the team can also be recognized and heat maps show who was where during the game. The data is gathered by trackers in chest straps worn by the players. Receivers around the pitch ensure that the data is transmitted securely. The stats are then analyzed in real time online. Another way of collecting positional data is to evaluate images using so-called computer vision. But one difficulty is that not all players are always visible in the image. AI could be the solution here too. The more data you have, the higher the probability that you will find patterns. Those patterns can be used to establish a correlation, which can help predict future outcomes. At the end of the day, football is complex. Many parameters play a role. But the more parameters I include in my analysis, the closer I am to reality. 
desto größer, desto näher bin ich auch an der Realität. The importance of data is increasing, as is the demand for match analysts. They're often considered just as important as traditional assistant coaches. But to be able to use the data sensibly, analysts need training. Most match analysts don't have the programming skills needed for working with data in a targeted and quick fashion. So far, comprehensive data collection exists mostly in top European leagues. But in the future, a team's success will depend not only on having the best players and coaches, but also the best programmers. Now it's all about who builds the best AI, who has the best parameters, and who can use outputs from games or training. They must draw the right conclusions, communicate essentials to the players, and ultimately improve training programs. Analyzing data as quickly as possible with AI has become crucial in professional football, and it's even able to predict the probability of injuries. England international Harry Kane has invested in an AI system which uses real-time data to maximise training programs. This can prevent injuries and optimise performance. Artificial intelligence can also detect exhaustion, which could help coaches during matches. They'd be able to take players off the field before they even have a chance of getting injured. This is just one area where coaches could make use of AI, and the tech is already helping them to find weaknesses in the opposition. Typically, match analysis takes place on screen. Like here at the German Sport University Cologne, data is collected and analysed. Such as this opponent's behaviour at corner kicks, for example. Precise, but time consuming. Analyzing a game with video data would take us about eight hours, depending on how many parameters we include. If we have position data and analyze it with our software, the same task takes eight seconds. So we can evaluate a lot more games in a shorter time. A clear advantage for those teams already working with AI. Those who can evaluate more games will more readily recognize patterns in opponents' tactics. And based on that, training plans can be tailored for each new opponent. Daniel Mehmet says the effectiveness of a new tactical approach can be tested too. He and his team have access to data from the German Bundesliga. You can test new group tactics or new skills beforehand. We could test those things here at the sports university and say the next day whether it made a difference or not. Until today, such insights would become apparent only over the course of a season, or even after a few defeats. But now pre-season AI analysis allows for more targeted training. Tactics that the AI deems unsuccessful are avoided. But for Daniel Mehmet, football success can't only be planned on a computer. Football differs from many other sports in that there is a large element of chance. We're talking 42% of all goals scored in unplanned actions. That can be trained. And that's why the game will always remain a bit mystical. Maybe that's why it's so exciting. Football will always have that unpredictable element, which makes it so loved by millions across the world. But algorithms could still help with many important questions, like how can players improve their game even further? Or is it worth buying a certain player? That's what German analysis platform Player is attempting to achieve with their system. Daten machen Talente sichtbar. Und je mehr Daten man hat, Data gives talent visibility, and the more data we have, the more visible global talent will be for us. Personally, I believe that AI will completely change football and democratize football. The more accessible data becomes, the easier it will be for smaller clubs who don't have 20, 50 head scouting teams to find players for their ranks. The AI platform player analyzes data to find the next generation of football stars, making recommendations to clubs on who to look out for. Player uses data from football associations, but also collects its own. 
Wir messen auch, ob jemand ein 1-0 schießt oder ein 4. We also note whether someone scores a 1-0 or a 4-0, whether someone passes forward or backwards, whether it happens under pressure, whether it triggers something, whether it influences the rest of the game. This involves 400 data points, which we have converted into 12 mega matrices. 12 data points that are most important for a particular position. Today, Player compiles and compares data from close to a million football games. What's more, 300,000 players are documented in their system, such as Bayern Munich's Jamal Musiala. I can look at his potential and can plan here as a club extremely well and see I can see what his potential is, and as a club, I can plan for that. I see 2024 is his year. After that, he'll lose a little momentum, but not significantly. In 2025, 2026, he'll continue to play at the top of his game. The makers claim the AI can calculate players' future performance with an impressive 90% accuracy. To further improve the AI, forecasts are frequently monitored and results scrutinized. Could this mean goodbye for its human counterparts? In dieser Frage steckt immer so ein bisschen auch die Angst, dass die Maschinen irgendwann sozusagen the question implies a kind of fear, a fear that machines will take over football and everything else too. I don't believe that will happen. It'll never happen. Bei jedem Thema Fortschritt darauf an, auf die Menschen an. With progress, it always depends on whether we can approach innovation fearlessly, bravely and wisely to make better decisions. Nutzen, um einfach bessere Entscheidungen zu treffen. Embracing tech can only be beneficial for football. Unfortunately, these systems still aren't available for everyone. Some of them, such as player, are currently only focusing on the men's game. And it's clear that to use AI in football at the moment, you need cash. So will artificial intelligence actually make the game better or will it just make the rich clubs stronger? Let us know what you think and see you next time.